Example one in the laws of logarithms, write each expression in terms of individual logarithms of x, y, and z. I often would just say expand. So you're going to right now have this as a single logarithm. You want to write this as a log in front of each of these variables. So to do this, these two are multiplied together. So when we're going to apply the logarithms, we add. So each variable has the word log written in front of it now. Because this part's division, you put a subtraction sign. So anything in the numerator, really, you're going to be adding. Then anything that ends up in the denominator, you're putting a minus sign for. Let's look at B. If you have a radical, you would want to convert that to an exponent. So log base 7, this would be x. Remember, this has a little 1 here. And so the exponent is the numerator. The index number is the denominator. So again, remember, this, little, this number is a little bit lower, so it's still the same. And now I can apply the power law. So the power law means that I take my exponent and I move it out front. So this is going to become 1 third as a coefficient now times log base 7x.